Hello, I am Miki Kashtan, and this is the Conflict Hotline. What you say next can change your world. Tonight, we return to the topic of parenting. Both parents and children would love to find ways of navigating daily living with more connection and trust, and struggle mightily whenever disagreements arise. Tonight, we'll examine these dynamics in three different scenarios. In the studio with me today are Annette Zupki and Janai Kashtan. And together we're going to play a number of situations in role play. The first one is like this. Annette is going to play Michelle, mm -hmm. who is the mother. And Janai is going to play Tim, who is the child. How old are you, Tim? I'm five years old. Okay, now let's watch what happens in the evening when Annette wants to go to a movie. Oh, I hear the door ringing. Laura is coming. I'm going to leave now and see you tomorrow, sweetie. No, I want sweetie. to play with you. We're not so, playing tonight. I'm going out. I don't like see you tomorrow. I, Please, just Laura's for once, mean. be Laura's a good boy. But, but I want to play with don't you. Don't be always so difficult for me. I want to go Thank now. Thank you. Let me stop you for a second. I'm confident that this is not the first time you're having this no, conversation. No, it's not. Has it ever worked to do it this way? Not really. Okay. And does this sound familiar to you? In a moment, we'll work with this situation and show how we can bring greater connection and mutual understanding to it. Conflict Hotline is a live program about the common challenges that we all face in our relationships, at home, and in the world. It's about developing the capacity to face those situations with care for everyone and with more success. We're an all-volunteer effort, and we are affiliated with Bay Area Nonviolent Communication. Everyone on the cast today is joining the show for the first time. If you'd like us to use your situation in a future show, please email us at conflicthotline at bnvc.org. Now let's see what happens when we bring some consciousness and skills to this situation. Okay, so I, I, I want to talk with you for a moment. Mm -hmm. I, I'm getting a sense that it's really a tight moment in the day for you when you want to go out and he wants you to stay. It is, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it gets probably progressively more difficult the more you try to get him to understand. It, it's that, and also I'm having a bad conscience. Aha, uh -huh, because some part of you is not totally at peace with leaving him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the thing that I see missing is you trying to explain and explain and explain to him. I don't hear you trying to understand him. Even if you can't give him what he wants, you can give him the space of being heard. Hmm. Can you do that? I would like to try. Mm -hmm. The piece that I'm struggling with and where I get the bad conscience is that he says he doesn't like Laura. Mm -hmm. So. So do you want to find out what that is about? Yeah. So let's start from the top and see what happens when he first says that he doesn't like Laura. Okay, so I'm I'm ready. I'm going to leave now. Laura no, is coming. I, wanna, I don't like Laura. I want to play with you. Laura's mean. She, she doesn't play with me. I really would like to understand. What is it about Laura? I mean, I hear you say she is well, mean. Well, she, well she, she just sits there and she reads a book and, and, and I'm just sitting there and she's just mean. So you really would like to have some time with her where you can trust that she likes being with you? But, but she's mean. I, I can't. She's mean. So, but you, know, you see what happens when you start listening, you start getting information that you didn't have before. So maybe it's not so much about is he a difficult boy, but uh, more about is the situation workable. And hearing him say she's mean over and over again makes it even tougher for me to wanting to leave. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, Part of, the, 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 um, part of what's important is it's not so much about Laura, it's about what he wants. Hmm. He doesn't really trust Laura. Hmm. So I wouldn't even try to say, you know, do you want Laura uh, to play with you? Because it's not about Laura. He wants, what, what is it that he really wants? Um, I'm guessing what he wants is to feel care. Mm -hmm. Try that, ask him. Just put it in language that he can understand. He's, after all, only five. Yeah. So you really would like to have a nice evening and would like to be with somebody yeah, who I loves you? Yeah, I want to have fun. I want to have fun. And I don't... She just, she just ignores me. Mm. Yeah. I want to have fun. 
And I, I want to check with you, Tim. Do you have a sense this time that you're being heard a little? Yeah, this is the first time this anything mm. like this has ever happened. Yeah. Yeah, so already we're, we're in a slightly different world. Mm. And, um, you know, so you can tell him what happens in you, too. Mm. So I'm hearing that you really would like to have somebody with you and you want to feel loved in the evening? Yeah, but not Laura. Yeah. Sweetie, would you be willing to listen to me? And I, I would like to share with you how it is for me when I hear you say that. Okay, can, can Laura not come again? Hmm. So my sense is he's not yet ready to hear you. There's yeah. more there that... Um, and, and I am imagining that part of what's going on is that you don't believe that you will ever be heard. No, because it's never happened before. Yeah. Hmm. And this is something that happens a lot where the dynamics between parents and children don't leave children with a sense of being heard. Hmm. And because they don't have the power to make what they happen, to make what they want happen, it's an incredibly helpless situation. Hmm. Can you, can you imagine what it's like where there's something you really don't want and you don't yeah. have the power yeah. to make it happen? Yeah, I get a sense of that. Yeah, so to see if you can reach more to understand what his experience is so that he ha really has a sense that you get it. Because mm. if he is repeating, anytime somebody is repeating something many times, it's because they still don't trust that they're being heard. Mm. Child or adult, same deal. Mm. So what do you think is, is something important that, that he wants to be heard about? Um, my guess is that he would like to be included in making a choice. Try it out. Ask him. I don't know. He's the only yeah. one who knows. So, Tim, I'm wondering if um, you really would like to decide with me together who is going yeah. to be with you in the evening when I'm yeah. leaving. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want Laura. Hmm. I, want you, I want you to play with me. Hmm. And I want to I wanna decide that. Mm. So you really want to be with somebody that you love and trust and where you feel comfortable with? Yeah. You're, you're much more together now. Do you mm. feel that too? Yeah. Is, was there relief? Huge relief. Yeah. Mm. So what, what, what's your sense of what can solve the problem? For this evening or like? So for this evening, the, there's always the question, how negotiable are you about leaving? Hmm. You may not be. Yeah, I'm, I'm having the sense I'm not. I'm really anxious of wanting to leave. There's something important for mm -hmm. me tonight. So then the question is, can you, with integrity, tell him that um, you know, you're glad to know more about what's happening with Laura and why he doesn't like her and you really want to solve that problem and you can't do it tonight and you, you'll, you know, you'll talk about it the next morning and promise something that you can stand behind, something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try it out, see what happens. Okay, so I think I eventually understand what it's about for you and I really would like to make a change with you. Yeah. Um, yet not tonight, tonight is... Th that's, what you, that's what you always say. Not. And then, and then Laura comes, and she's mean, and mm. I'm sad. So it's really it's difficult for you to trust that she's, this time... Laura's mean. Yeah. Hmm. Big dilemma. This is a really, really, really intense dilemma. Mm -hmm. How do you really hold everybody ne everybody's needs in the equation? So what's coming to me now, is, as it is still important for me to go out, I would like to give it a try to ask if there's anybody else mm -hmm. but Laura <coughs> who my son could think of spending the evening mm -hmm. while I'm gone. Try it out. Um, so Tim, it's also important to me that you feel comfortable and that you have a nice evening. And I also want to go out tonight. So I wonder, is there anybody else that you could imagine to spend the evening with, that you would have fun with? Well, um, 
I guess Bob is a little better than Laura. He, he actually plays with me. He, mm. Laura just sits there and reads her book, mm. but he'll actually play with me. Mm -hmm. So do you have a sense now that you're being included in solving the problem together? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's really the, the core thing, mm. because what the solution is might change and it might not even work, but the sense of being together on this is what builds the trust. Mm. Yeah. I also feel way more comfortable now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to call Bob and hopefully Bob is available and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. So now let's just uh, cut and have just a little bit of the conversation that you have the next day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Tim, did you have a nice evening yesterday night? It was okay. Mm -hmm. It was, it was better than Laura. Okay, so hearing that, I really would like to make sure that next time it's more than just okay for you. And I would like us to spend some time and go through different ways of how we could arrange that. Would you like yeah. to tell me what would be your most preferred option on the nights well, when I have to do something else? Well, maybe we can find someone even nicer than Bob. Mm -hmm. Because he's okay, but I really want to have fun. Mm -hmm. Not, I don't want it to be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want you to have fun too. It's important to me. Good. Isn't that conversation completely different mm -hmm. from the fighting and bickering that you've had before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to hear from you. Um, what was it like for you to have her express things to you in this different way? What happened? Well, suddenly I didn't, didn't even care that much if I had to spend an even, evening with Laura because mm -hmm. I knew that, that she really understood where I was coming from and what I was needing. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the main part. Yeah. After that, it didn't really matter. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. kind of like Laura becomes the, the, the reason that he stays there because um, that he keeps saying about Laura because it's, it's really a placeholder for being heard. Mm. Okay. Mm. And I, I also have a sense that in this way you also are getting more heard too. Because by hearing him there's more room for him to understand you know, and accept that you need to go. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even a big challenge about that at all. Yeah, you? it felt much easier. Yeah. Mm. So wondering what did you learn? from this? What, um, what's something that will stay with you? Definitely the piece around checking first um, and to look together for what could be the possible options mm -hmm. that both of us have a good evening and particularly because I also realize that it's easier for me to leave when I know that you feel mm -hmm. happy. Yeah, that is hugely important. Mm -hmm and so easy to gloss over when you're just anxious and just trying to just yeah. basically push him away so that you can go and do your thing and then it doesn't feel good inside. Mm. You go, but it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else that either of you wants to add before we take a break? Well, I just was really powerful how once we had created a connection, Laura didn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, an evening with Laura wasn't that bad anymore. Mm -hmm. I also have one other thought, which is Laura is also a human being and could be talked with mm -hmm. Mm. about um, what this is about for her. Maybe she's kind of like doesn't know what to do mm. with Tim and if you give her some ideas about what things Tim likes, mm. she might be different. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know, but just talking about it, who knows what the options are. Yeah, it's worth trying. Okay, so let's take a short break and when we come back, we'll be doing an interview with Janaika Stamm. <laughs>